Okay, how to install your system and technical notes. First off, you pre-install, you need to pick a dealing desk, either IBFXAU or FinFX. Um, we do do Divisa in some instances. If you have installed the tools before, run the uninstaller. So that's the first thing you got to do is pick your dealing desk that you'd have. Number two, there are tools that need very little data and some that need huge amounts of data. You may want to install two dealing desks, one for lots of data and one for a little data. Tools that use very little data are correlative breakouts indicators. This looks at breakouts on several pairs at one time and the EAs run faster with less data. Uh, depending on the tools you use, you may never need to acquire data. An example of Dizon though, which looks back in time and builds dispersion though, this indicator needs tons of data, but it will give us what happens next, how far it'll move and how long it'll take. This um, data caching, this is when an indicator that needs lots of data is pre-processed to um, save on um, pre-processed, but it doesn't save on hard disk space. That's a typo. It eats up more hard disk space. We have cache data functionalities. Um, some of these data functions that are stored, they really take up like six gigs of data for 20 years. This allows um, access to pattern and zones and indicators. What, what does all that mean? Let's go in here and look. Okay. If we bring this up and we go to tools and we go in here and this is IBFX, we go to options and we come in here and we go to charts. This is set to process about 950,000 bars. Well, this indicator, this particular indicator, it's a script and it needs lots and lots and lots of data. So it says D zone. If I pull this on, it will actually go through and build the zone out. Well, some of this could have been cached out and pre-processed. See how long it's taking? You could actually install a caching tool. This says exactly how far it thinks it'll move. It thinks it's almost done uh, moving up. And there should be a reversal into this box and then another move up. That's what it's predicting. A, a small move down and then a move up. Okay, and that's what it's telling us. But that needs lots and lots of data to work. So... Uh, depending on which tools you use, you some of them cache, to, cache out things. And what it does is it installs it on your hard drive. A caching system would be something like this. I'm going to actually jump down here to my hard drive. I'm going to go into here and let's go to um, C drive. Let's go to um, right here where it says, let's pop this off. Program files, MetaTrader. Um, this is the Australian one, Experts, Files. So this is where that two gigs is stored. This is pre-processed information on the Australian. Tells you what symbol it's looking at. Okay. Now, it, so when you come in here, MetaTrader stores data in both offline mode and online mode. Offline mode comes back from MetaQuotes, goes back to 1970 on five-minute bar charts. This data is not viewed as the highest quality. It's an excellent site to review this. MetaQuotes data can have holes in it. it. It might not work. There's an EA that will test for these holes. So you can install data going back to 2001. That's another four gigs. What that does is that means that when I pull up a chart, this history thing I showed you earlier, when we go in here, this is set to load 950,000 bars. Well, when it does that, by loading that 950,000 bars, that data was stored here. Now, this is tricky. This is a little tricky. When when you install this, it actually comes down in here, and it's a little tricky. If we come down in and we look at IBFX Australia, and we go to history, and we come in here and look at this, under this history, these are different dealing desks that we could do. This is where I installed my extra, or different servers. This shows where the data was installed right there. Okay. This is where it's all installed. So this is data going back years and years and years and years. These are the size of the files. Okay. So we have data packs that you can install also. All right. So let's grab this. Let's go over here. Now, I currently have three ways to acquire the data. Method one is um, you could go to a website, download. It's updated probably once a quarter. That's being set up right now. Um, it's not quite done. It's being updated. Um, CNS 
as soon as I just have to give them my installer. CNS will be one way. The third way is from Dropbox, and we actually changed it to a Google Drive. Okay. Um, the links can be found in, um, I'll show them to you. Okay. So step one is run the download and install um, data. So what you do is you're going to have um, a link, and I can post the link right in here. I'm actually going to bring up my um, my Google Drive, and this is my Google Drive right here, and I'm going to go back one button, and I have um, builds. This is the right here. I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to share. This is the actual link. You you might want to go to either a Facebook group, a Google group, or email me to get this link. You actually need this very very link. It's it's quite lengthy, but it will give you the data. Okay, um, it, you need to grab that and it'll pop it up. Okay, now if you come down through here and you install it, this is your data, your cache data installer, your data installer, your EA installer. These are bugs that we know. That's an open source document that you can change. These are features that you'd like. If you ever crash, this is a step-by-step -step fix. But this is the one we'll run right now. Okay, so I don't want to preview it. I just want to double-click on it. Okay, let's double-click on that. And we'll have it run. Let's just wait. takes a minute to run it'll be just a second okay come on computer it's got to be running these are all the things I got running we'll see it pop up here in just a second I'll pause and shut down some stuff I'll be right back okay so when it launches, it automatically launches this website where it has some videos under playlist. It's a YouTube site. You can pick any of these. I'm going to be replacing this installer video with what we made. But it comes up on this. It says, which dealing desk would you like to use? Well, you hit cancel if you've already got your dealing desk. If you don't, you click OK, and it will pop you to the download site for the dealing desk. You just click download. If you want, you go next, and it says browse to where you want to install it. You click the browser, you go to where you would like to install it. So we pick like any dealing desk. There's a dealing desk right there. We just click on the dealing desk. We click OK. We click Next. We click Next and we just let it run. Now, if you want the extra data, it's going to download it for the installer for you right when it gets here. OK, at the very end, it'll download the installer. I'm not going to do that right now. It's also in your Google Drive. But when it gets to the end, you can download the cache data one. It'll ask you if you want to. You don't have to do that, but it will go down and um, you can download it. Okay, so let's just wait until this runs. Now, it's got an uninstaller, so if it doesn't work, you can uninstall the tools. We'll just wait for it to install. It's kind of slow, so we'll pause for a sec. Okay. Now it'll pop up and say, do you want to install the data? No. Do you want to install the cache data? No. And then this will come up. We just say finished when we're done. Okay. It's 25%. It's set everything up. It's making the installers. Then it's done. You're all done. Okay. Now I, it would go up into that other site. You'd do it. So run the downloader, watch the video, and uh, pick the desk and install it. You go to Tools, Options, Experts, and you have to enable your tools. What this means is you always have to go here. You go to Tools, Options, Experts, and this needs to be set like this. Okay. You need to do that. And then um, the next thing that you need to do is you exit and start. you finish running the installer after you set that up. You don't have to do the tools option experts first, but if you ran the dealing desk installer, which is something we didn't do because we already had it installed, we, we went to the IBFX website and we could have installed it. 
So one of the websites it launched was right here. And this down, you just click download. You don't even have to fill anything out. It's another, it's the application. So if you don't have that on there, you can't do step one or the step we're on without installing it. We had one on there, but you have to install this. If you install this, you need to set the environment of it. You just would click run. Um, this is the IBFX setup. So we already have it installed. I'm going to cancel this install, but it would go through and it picks where you're going to install it. Okay. Now let's go back into here. Next thing you do, you pick the data you'd like to cache or not. We didn't want to do it. There's download the data installer, run that data installer. Same thing. We just browse to where it goes. You just put it on the dealing desk and it puts it in there. Um, if you downloaded the data, you'll need to do this to change this. Um, do not do this. Don't download it this way. This is the crummy data back from um, from MetaQuotes. Okay, so here's some things that we do. These are some terms. Hardened code, not hardened, release, beta, and alpha. Um, this has to do with some release notes we put in here. So I'm going to go back to the Google Drive, which you'll get access to. Okay, so we go to the Google Drive, and it says um, release notes. Okay, the release, it says build docs. The build doc in here comes through, and you can't change this. It tells you the version number we're on, basically how to install it. And down here at the bottom, it tells you the status of each tool, whether they're released or hardened. Okay, this is a hardened EA. This, this EA is the only hardened EA we have out. There's no bugs in it. It's been around for a long time. But we actually say which one's hardened and which one's not. Okay, these are released, released, released. Um, okay, that one's in a beta. So it goes down and tells you the status of every tool that's released. Not what they do. You pull them on and get a video about that. This will also tell you this release document. It comes from the Google link. Is It tells you where all this information is stored. Or it tells you about, excuse me, it, it tells you about... Um, what we're what's being worked on um what is um what has been added and what has been fixed and then there's a bug document that you can actually um edit you can go through and grab this okay so like for example we would put in jeff crystal this is a known bug we'd put in today's date which would be um 2013.06 dot i think it's the 12th um this might be some that you'd put in. You'd say the um, the EA config tool. The EA config tool um, needs to um, be polished. Needs to size right. That tool. I'll show you that in a second. It 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 installs in your desktop. We'll talk about that in just a minute. So that might be a bug that we know, and that's I'll, I'll explain it to you in just a minute. So we could go back here. That's a bug doc. This is a feature request. This is if you crash. And you, you have access to those. Now, we're going to come back in here. And we're going to say right here. Okay. This is some other stuff you need to know. Version numbers. The version number is 0 .01 is hard. 0 .02 is released. 0 .03 is beta. Um, and this will I'll put all the version numbers in a log file for you to look at. Okay, there's a script you can do it. Now, magic numbers. A magic number is um, used to link a MetaTrader EA to that order. Um, they are left to the designer to assign. BN4X has um, chosen to design a nine-digit number broken down in three parts. 100 is reserved for the EA. 100 is reserved for the symbol. 100 is reserved for the type of trade. So 1001 would be a magic number. That's how it's broken down. Black Bourbon, these are all the magic numbers, the root magic numbers for them. This one is the root magic numbers for the symbols. And then the last one would be um, the root magic number for the other one. Now, this was set up with the help of Duncan and Graham, the Rat, Andreas, the Chilean, and Pablo, the Peruvian. Um, so if you have any questions on how this thing's installed, basically it's pretty straightforward to install it. What you need to do is you just need this link to this drive, and you won't have found that. Um, there's a couple different places you can grab it, but we need this link to this drive, okay? That's what you need. 
All right. Thank you for your support.